What's up everybody, this is Jose from Sun Life. On today's video, we're gonna talk about what happened in Montgomery, Alabama. And my opinion isn't gonna make anybody happy because nobody is right here. Everybody's wrong. And of course, I'm gonna be honest with you, despite the fact that I know my opinion is not gonna be taken lightly by most people, most people on both sides of this issue aren't gonna like what I have to say. A dispute with a security guard the boaters then attack the security guard and well unfortunately because it's go to Alabama it turned out to be a racial riot where the blacks and the whites started to attack each other well when I see other creators approach on this topic or their take on it I'm a little disappointed especially in a lot of the african-american creators this you know your race being race baited into attacking people that's not funny um and a lot of uh, ricky smiley did a, a skit which was it was hilarious but um is that really the stance that you should have on topics like this and a lot of the other creators that are mostly african americans that are tackling this topic when i see their reaction to the situation they're laughing they're excited that this actually happened you should never be excited for racial violence uh, you should be disgusted by it. So many of the creators that I've seen on YouTube have taken a comical approach to this, or you can see in their eyes that they're excited about the situation. They shouldn't be excited. They should actually be kind of upset. Uh, you know, if your race, especially, you know, in Alabama, it's not the first time that these people encounter a racist situation, so they should all know how to act better. We shouldn't emulate the people in Alabama. We shouldn't glorify them. We shouldn't see anybody involved in this situation as a hero. If you guys remember a while back, I was in Fort Myers, and there used to be a spot where we would hang out and get tacos at night. All of a sudden, now there's a group of white kids, and they're hanging out in our Spanish hangout spot, which is not a problem except for the timing was right after this law had taken place, and you can clearly tell that it was a race bait. Now, I go out there and I do my videos all the time, and we never have a problem among the Hispanic communities that hang out out there. All of a sudden now, because these white kids are there, they saw me recording, they picked a fight, and well, I backed off. I got in a few good words, but I backed off and left. They acted like they wanted to fight me. I'm a big time YouTuber. I'm not gonna fight somebody on the streets. What are you talking about? You know, like, I'm not gonna throw away, I just hit 100,000 subscribers. Pretty soon there's gonna be a plaque with my silver button back there. You think I'm going to throw all this away that I've worked for because somebody wants to bait me into fighting? Absolutely not. Now, as you guys know, I lived in the Montgomery area and I'm aware of things about that area that the vast majority of you guys are not aware. I remember one day me and my wife went to the exact park that this thing took place in, the waterfront park in Montgomery, and there was people in boats that were going by really, really fast. And I mean ridiculously fast. And they were making a wave to the people that were getting on this ferry. So this has been for a while now an ongoing situation where these white individuals from Alabama are trying to race bait the black people into an argument. So this isn't one random act. Even when I lived in Montgomery, I went to this park one time and I could tell that the people on the boats were purposely trying to agitate the people that are getting on this ferry or whatever the crap it was. And this was a few years ago. So this has been an ongoing situation. And this is exactly why I left Alabama. When you live in Alabama, you have to take sides on racial issues. There's no being neutral because at the end of the day, it's Alabama. It's segregated and you have to take sides on these issues there's no real middle ground. If you're in the middle ground, you're getting attacked by both sides. And that's exactly why I left Alabama. And that is because in Alabama, you're constantly being pressured on whether you're gonna support African-American issues or you're gonna support white issues. And if you're a neutral party in the middle, it's very difficult. After living there for a year, I understand the situation better than a lot of people who don't live in Alabama. You might think you understand racism, but you understand racism in the state that you live in. You don't understand what's going on here in Alabama. What's going on here in Alabama is a different situation. These individuals 
should have known not to engage these people. They should know by now, after living in Alabama, this is a huge embarrassment for African Americans because these white people literally race baited them and they fell for it. Roll Tide. You record the violence that took place. This guy, he decided to fight. The security guard decided to fight. He took off his hat. He wanted to fight. On top of that, this is Montgomery, Alabama. I'm pretty sure that the Montgomery County Jail is possibly 95% black. So those white people would have got arrested by black police officers and transported to a black prison or jail in the city of Montgomery where they would have got their butts handed by every inmate inside of that jail. So they would have got their whooping either way in the privacy and secluded nature of an Alabama jail. The fact that it happened on the streets in front of people just goes to show that there was no self-control. The proper protocol when you are being baited racially, which is what these people were doing, they were ag agitating the situation, they parked their boat where they knew they shouldn't have been, they took their time, they dragged their feet, they got snobby, they did everything they could to impose themselves. That's a word we've used on my channel a lot when talking about racism. They were imposing themselves, they were dragging their feet, they were race baiting the people and the people fell for it and in that category the black people of alabama have a lot of experience on this topic they should know that they were being race baited and they should have known the proper procedure that black man would have had the lawsuit of a lifetime he could have took their houses he could have took their boats he could have wrote a book about getting beat by a bunch of racist white people in downtown montgomery they had the perfect I mean, we're talking, this black guy could have been the next Rosa Parks. This black guy could have been the next Martin Luther King or Malcolm X. He could have been a George Floyd. Now he's a George Wallace. What he had to do was not engage those people. He should have just let them beat him. A hundred people would have recorded it. Montgomery police officers were there. They would have arrested those people. Those people would have gone to a jail in Montgomery where the black inmates could have had taken turns taking out physical justice they just fumbled it really like that is not how you handle a racial dispute especially in alabama where people are time tested and experienced in racism am i white enough for you now alabama i mean this guy getting beat by five white people would have made him a millionaire quite literally he would have had interviews about it he would have had um the ability to sue those people, write a book about it, get a statue of him, you know, I don't know what they would have done, but he had in his hands the ability in this situation to turn their race bait against them, okay? He could have baited them back and he would have won. The, when you see hundreds of people jumping off of boats to fight each other and then you have a hundred white people or 20 white people versus 40 black people, whatever the crap it was, the rest of the world, you know, the African-American communities throughout the country and internationally now are picking up this story as if this was a glorious thing. It's nothing to be proud of in Montgomery, okay? This situation only highlights the type of savagery that you have in Montgomery, okay? That a racial brawl happens. There's, there's nothing respectable about this situation. There's nothing glorious about this situation. This is quite literally a freaking Alabama embarrassment as typical. There's nothing about the situation that's really worth glorifying. You know what African-American people need to be proud of? People like Akon, who is bringing billions of dollars of investment into Africa. The artists coming out of Africa now, you got artists coming out of South Africa are absolutely making it mainstream. And their music from Africa is getting played throughout the entire world. Those are the types of things that you should be proud of. Artists like the ones coming out of Africa now, that despite coming from disadvantaged culturally countries, countries that haven't had any exposure, they're putting their country on the map. They're putting Ghana on their map. They're putting South Africa on the map. They're putting Uganda and Angola on the map. Those are the types of things you should be proud of as an African-American or as an African. But a bunch of black people in Montgomery attacking 
uh, somebody in a race riot, that's an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment because already in Alabama, they have mastered the art of race baiting. So this, to them, is a slip-up. They fumbled the ball. They should have known the proper way to handle the situation. Rosa Parks, if she had been there, she would have walked away from that situation. Dr. Martin Luther King would have definitely not approved of that situation. Those are the types of black people that are respected and renowned throughout the entire world. Bob Marley, Jamaicans, their music is loved and appreciated through the out entirety of the earth. From Russia to China, the entire world consumes the music of Jamaica and their culture. Those are the types of people that really are impactful in society. But to glorify people who started a race riot in the downtown of a city, this particular site in Montgomery is where slaves were auctioned off and they were shipped into the city. And this is a place where if you are not black, you might want to thread very carefully. And um, my disappointment, first of all, I'm not impressed by what the people in Alabama do. That is what they do. When we lived in Alabama, my wife literally saw a bumper-to-bumper -bumper car accident turn into a race riot in Montgomery. When you travel through Alabama, if you accidentally have a car accident, that could turn into a race riot because these people are racially just looking for an opportunity to start something for nothing. You know, these people in Alabama, their brains are really small and they're inbred, all of them, white and black, they're very inbred and they just don't have thinking capacity. And that's the best thing that their brains can come up with is racial tension. So. For the rest of us in the civilized world, now I lived in Alabama, and from somebody who's lived in Alabama, there's nothing in this state or nothing that these people in Alabama do, whether black or white, that deserves respect. Whether the white people involved in this situation who initiated this whole thing or the black people who were baited by them, both sides are guilty of starting a race riot. And real role models like Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks, if they had been standing there, they would have walked away. They wouldn't have been part of that, okay? Um, this, there, there's nothing, like, for us, the civilized world, okay, for, now this is national news and international news. For us in the civilized world, Florida, New York, California, to look at what people in Alabama are doing and say, that's what we want to do, bro, no. Everything that this state does Regardless if it's white or black, they're both racist. They both hate each other. And why would you, uh, 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 why would you want to be Alabama? Why would you respect and honor and and just kind of you know support what's going on in Alabama? They're all racist. To live in Alabama, you have to be racist. If you're not racist, then you're gonna suffer dearly for it, like a lot. Okay, so there's nothing going on in Alabama that any one of us needs to imitate. What we need to do is do what I did, which is tell them whatever you're doing is embarrassing. And it just proves what I've been saying on this channel for a while. that The people in Alabama are complete freaking inbred savages.